Hey friends, you don't have to draw blood very long in our industry before you realize that some patients have really hard to find veins. I mean, turnips are easier to get blood from than some patients, right? So what can you do? Well, you can ask them to drink plenty of fluids and come back later. You can put a warm compress on their inner cubital area for a few minutes. That might distend the veins. You could try looking on the back of the hand, or if you're Catholic like I am, you could just cleanse the site with some holy water and pray for a miracle. But wait, there's more. What about those vein finders on the market? Do they work? Which one is best? Well, there are plenty of them on the market, so I thought it's a good time for a product review. Because after all, none of us want to have to stick the patient twice, do we? So the more tools we have at our disposal for locating the best vein in the first place, the better, right? Did you know that 95% of all venipunctures performed by phlebotomists are successful on the first attempt? Well, that's pretty good, but it's not pretty good for those 5% of patients that we miss and we have to stick them again. Wouldn't it be nice if all your patients had veins like these? This is my arm. These kinds of veins are what we wish were everywhere, don't we? But unless your patient is a steel worker, a contractor, weightlifter, athlete, or physically strong for any number of reasons, you're not going to have the luxury of finding these veins every time you tighten up a tourniquet. That's where technology comes in. But just remember, vein location devices shouldn't be used as your default device, but used only to confirm where a vein is if you're not sure, or as a last resort. That holds true even for students and trainees learning to draw blood for the first time. And they're also useful to calm the fears of needle-phobic patients who need the confidence that you'll get the blood on the first try. So let's go through the products available to locate veins. I've organized them into four categories. The first is ultrasound. You won't find a single ultrasound device in any laboratory, though. It's not something a phlebotomist is usually trained to use. For nurses, though, it's a viable option. The downside is that it can only be used to locate veins prior to the puncture. During the draw, you're on your own. The second category is the transilluminators or tissue illuminators like the vein light. They require skin contact and they flood the tissue with light so that the veins show up as dark structures. They come in various sizes for different patient populations. These models run around $500. Venoscope is another product in this space. Either way, they can be used throughout the draw to reveal the vein because they are usually made in the shape of a horseshoe so you, you can illuminate from three sides and insert your needle from the opening. However, they require another person to hold the device in place so you can use both hands for the draw. There's also a pediatric product called the WeSight by Respironics. It's for infants and pediatrics to assist in locating hand veins. The patient simply holds the device in the palm and the veins of the back of the hand are illuminated. You can get it for just under $200 if you look around. Now let's move on to the third and largest category, near infrared light. These are the high tech devices. I like this product category because these devices are easy to use, touch free and hands free if you want them to be. One product in this category is the AccuVane AV500. This is an earlier model. I participated in the development of this product as a consultant. It's just a little bigger than a television remote and does not require skin contact. When held at the right distance from the skin, it detects veins beneath the surface by sensing concentrations of carbon dioxide, which are higher in veins than they are in tissue, and projects them as a map on the surface of the skin. It can be used to show you where to palpate for a vein where you might not otherwise know. It also comes with a stand to use throughout the procedure for hands-free use so that you can constantly see the location of the vein that you're trying to access. The device alone without the stand can be had for about $3,000 and up. Christie Medical Holdings has also shrunk the technology into a handheld device with the Flex and the Vision 2 near-infrared device. It also has a hands-free option, and according to the company, it finds clinically relevant veins up to 10 millimeters deep. Here's two examples of the pattern map that it projects. Pricing on this is a little hard to find, but I'd guess it's well above 3,000. Our fourth category is wearable vein location devices. I only know of two. One is the OxyISO Vein Finder glasses from Vino Optics. Simply put these on and you'll not only look cool, but you'll be able to see veins better, or so says the company. Personally, I have a few pair of these and well, let me just say, 
they look good on me. That's all I can say. They're about $277 on Amazon.com. Reviews are mixed. This little gem is called the Vacuderm Smart Tourniquet by Oberon. They've made several versions since this one. The company refers to it as the world's only patented vein inflator and tourniquet. You simply attach it to the arm above the intended puncture site, pump this little bubble-like feature, and it creates a negative pressure vacuum that supposedly inflates the vein. How a vacuum inflates something is a bit of a mystery to me, but there you go, folks. Hey, I'm just reporting. I scoured the globe, and I'm just giving you the full spectrum of vein location devices. You know, I don't often endorse products, but I've saved my favorite for last, and I think it's the best one out there. The human index finger. This little number is highly sophisticated, and it has a multitude of features you won't find in any other single device. It's portable. It can go anywhere you go. Everybody already has at least one within arm's reach at all times. It requires no batteries, adapters, external power hookup, thanks to its internally generated power source. It's low maintenance, only needs occasional cleaning and nail trimming. It needs only a single calibration, which is good for the life of the product. And it has a multitude of additional uses. It takes pulses, it types manuscripts, it doubles as a pointer, a back scratcher, a button pusher, and it performs an essential function almost every evening from the comfort of your favorite recliner. Operating the TV remote with blinding precision. It's the perfect multi-purpose vein finder. Best of all, it works even better than holy water. <laughs> well, there's your roundup of vein finders. I'm Dennis Ernst, your personal phlebotomy guru, telling you to keep sticking to the standards.